God would send his angels to bring all of the altars back to the person, and then I pray that they would be integrated into the person. Uh, and that's an example of another type of structure that many people may not think about. Doctor, as a matter of fact, you're talking about this, and I'm thinking about a passage in the Bible that have been brought to my attention and um, it's it's just so bizarre when you read this passage because the thing about this passage is that the guy that's talking is alive but his language seems to betray that testimony in Psalm 88 the writer says Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before for thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline my ear on, on incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws nigh to the grave. And then in verse four it says, I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am a man that has no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in the darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lies hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with thy waves. But as, as I'm reading that, what I'm seeing is that there seems to be a realm, literally, a realm of death that has almost interfaced or overlapped upon the life or spiritual experience of the writer himself. That's uh, just... Uh, 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 yes. In fact, the Bible even says in, in Colossians uh, to deliver us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Uh, we're to be delivered, delivered from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And there's numerous verses uh, in, in the Old and New Testament. Uh, in, in fact, in the, uh, in the mission statement of Jesus, uh, it, it says uh, to recover uh, the sight of the blind... Yep, I know where you're going with that. I, I know. Please continue. And, and uh, uh, to deliver them uh, from bondage. Um, and this is, the, uh, this is the mission statement of Christ. It's in the New Testament. It's in Luke chapter 4, verse 18. It says, the Spirit of the Lord is on me. Mm -hmm. Jesus said this in the synagogue uh, because he has anointed me uh, to preach the gospel to the poor. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, and that's not just uh, prisoners in prison, uh, but prisoners in, in bondage, in spiritual bondage, especially from Satan. And yes. recover the sight of the for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. That's the mission statement of Jesus. Many churches have a mission statement. Most businesses have a mission statement. And this is the express, overt mission statement of Jesus. Uh, to deliver those that are in bondage. And, you know... Many churches 